Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, coaches. Um, this morning, I've decided to start the journey of our 30-day prayer of just praying with each other, believing God for each other, believing God for our miracles, because without prayer, we are, you know, we move, but we don't move fast enough. Prayer is like the oil in our engine this morning, right? So let's begin to pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us of our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory. Father, this morning I come to you to lift up every coach in this group, O God. I pray, O God, that you will bless them, that you will keep them, that you will protect them, their family, their personage, and their properties. Father, I pray, O God, that every vision, every dream, every desire, every plan that you have put together oh God I pray oh God that you will cause it to come into life light and fruition father I pray this morning in the name of Jesus uh, that God you will touch us oh God touch us going out touch us coming in Lord we pray oh God that you will cause our minds to think ahead of the journey oh God father allow us to see the snares the traps that the enemy has set out to destroy our vision and our dreams Oh God, we pray this morning uh, that eyes haven't seen, oh God, and ears haven't heard, oh God. Neither have it entered into the hearts of man the things that you have in store for these women, oh God. Father, this morning, oh God, I lift them up, oh God. I pray that you will touch them from the crown of their heads to the sole of their feet, oh God. Father, I pray this morning in the name of Jesus, oh God, as they go forth, oh God, in their ministry, in their service, in their coaching, that you will send the right clientele for them, oh God. Father, I pray, oh God, that you will open up the reservoir of the earth, oh God, that you will open up the windows of heaven, that you will open up, oh God, doors that no man can shut, oh God. Father, and that you will shut doors that no man can open, oh God. Father, teach them, oh God, how to be humble. Teach them how to serve serve your people, oh God. Father, give them creative ideas, innovative ideas, wealth creative ideas, ideas that's going to shift the world, that shift their community, to shift their mind, almighty God. Father, we bind up everything that is stagnant, oh God, in the earth concerning them, oh God. Father, everything that caused them to stand, oh God, and be afraid, oh God, we bind it up in the name of Jesus. You said you have not given us a spirit of fear, but you have given us a spirit of love of power and a sound mind so this morning god i come before you and i say oh god father of heaven and earth uh, you created the galaxies the seas uh, you created the mountains oh god uh, you called it the earth oh god and you said that we are to have a rule over the fishes of the sea uh, over the birds of the air and the fowl in the nest oh god you said you called us oh god to rule over so therefore oh god i pray oh god that you will cause us to stand up uh, as coaches in the earth oh god uh, as spiritual sisters lord god and to shift this earth back to what it was oh god a place of peace, a, a place of worship. Uh, oh God, I pray this morning uh, for those who have children in this group. I pray, oh God, uh, that you will open the seven sockets of their brain, oh God. Uh, cause them to comprehend, understand, oh God. Give them wisdom, knowledge, and understanding concerning their schoolwork. Uh, we pray for scholarships, oh God. Uh, for the grandchildren, oh God. Father, we pray for those that are married, oh God, this morning. Uh, oh Lord Jesus, uh, let your blood prevail through this group, oh God. God. Father, cause us to become a cord that cannot be broken, mighty God. Oh God, I pray this morning, Jesus, uh, that you take the wheel of our lives, God, uh, and you turn it whithersoever you will this morning. Uh, oh God, we thank you, oh God, that you have brought us this far. Uh, we come here, Lord God, by 
faith and by faith oh god we continue on our journey oh god cause us to move quickly with the wind oh god because lord the wind blows with us ever it will and we do not know oh god but give us eyes to see give us ears to hear mighty god give us a heart to comprehend the wind blowing oh god in the midst of our situation in the midst of the vision oh god give us eyesight oh god that we can see beyond today oh god father cause us oh god to have memory faculties oh mighty god father cause our memory oh god to remember everything that we have written and studied oh god allow us oh god to keep the ethics of our of our coaching almighty God this morning God I come to you uh, and I said father of Abraham uh, father of Isaac father of Jacob uh, God of the heavens I uh, call upon you this morning uh, I say God if you don't answer Lord God who will uh, so this morning mighty God I pray uh, that you will bless your people oh God I pray oh God you said in your word blessed is the man oh God uh, who sitteth not in the council of the ungodly nor standeth in the way of sinners. So God, we pray this morning uh, that we will be leaders in the earth realm. Uh, leaders that will shift the mindset of your people. Leaders that will empower your people. Leaders that will encourage your people. Leaders that will give your people elevation from their poverty and their scarcity into abundance now. Father, we will shift them from being in the same position that roller coaster ride, oh God. Father, we thank Thank you, oh God, that your everything that we have touched will turn to gold, oh God, that we will listen to the voice within us, God, and we will function unto that voice. We will function, Lord God, as we hear. Father, you said faith coming by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So, Father, this morning, without your word, we are nothing. So, this morning, oh God, I pray in the name of Jesus that we will begin to live our best life. Fear, we are no longer a slave to you. We are bold enough. We are strong enough. We have enough strength on the inside of us. We have enough creativity. We have enough stamina. We have enough courage to go forth in our businesses. Lord God, tomorrow is not promise, but right now is promise to us, oh God, because we are alive, we are alert, we are oriented. And Father, therefore, we move synchronized and syncopated to the choreographic move of God. Lord God, we are no longer afraid to step into which we do not know but God we have enough power on the inside of us we have enough anointing on us oh God we have enough creativity in us father father we just want to tell you thank you this morning for the blessings of God make it rich and add it no sorrow to it so therefore God we will not be sorrowful in the things that we cannot see oh God because now faith is the substance of things hoped for the evidence of things we don't see God we don't see the clients we we don't see the customers. We do not see, oh God, the office, Lord God. We don't see how the conferences are going to come together. We don't see how the group coaching is going to come together. But God, what we do know is that by faith, we will write the vision and we will make it plain, oh God, that by faith, we will function. Oh God, as life coaches, by faith, oh God, we will meet the right people. By faith, oh God, we will say the right words. By faith, we will do the right thing, oh God. For righteousness is doing the right thing now, God. Go before us, oh God, and make the crooked places straight. Father, they will hear of us. Oh God, our names will be written in newspapers, on TV channels. Oh God, the names will be all over the world. Oh God, we will travel the world, uh, empowering women uh, to understand that they're not alone, uh, that you have called them for a purpose, uh, for such a time as this, almighty God. Uh, oh God, we come this morning, God, lifting up your name, oh God, just one more time, God, to tell you thank you for the breath of life oh god to tell you thank you for this sweet hour of prayer
prayer to tell you thank you oh god for the sun in the sky oh god for the birds in the air oh god for the fishes in the sea oh god for the animals on the earth god we just want to tell you thank you for our roof of our head oh god for clothes on our back oh god for food on our table oh god we just want to tell you thank you for our jobs oh god we want to tell you thank you for the vision god we want to tell you thank you oh god for our families oh god father you said what you have joined together let no man put asunder so god we thank you for our husbands almighty god father we thank you oh god for everything that concerning life and godliness belongs to us now we will hear the voice of the holy spirit within we will lead and not follow we will create and not destroy we are a force for good we are the head and not the tail we are above and not beneath we're a success and not a failure. We're rich and not poor. Everything we touch shall turn to gold. No weapon that is formed shall prosper. Every tongue that rise, we shall condemn it in the name of Jesus. We condemn every tongue that has spoken negative over our lives. We condemn every word that they speak over our lives. Every person that said you will never make it. Every person that said you will never mount to anything. Every person that said that you will never make it. Every person that said you will never mount to anything. Every person that says you will never be. I command your spirit this morning to come alive. I command your vision to come alive. I decree and declare that money shall flow through you, in you, around you. And everything that you touch shall come forth in this season. I decree and declare that the Spirit of God rest upon you, that the Spirit of God rules in your life. I decree and declare that God is the author and the finisher of your faith this morning. May heaven smile on you. May God bless you. May God bless you. May God bless you. I love you coaches and I look forward to the next 30 days of praying with you, of fasting with you because we need to get going and prayer is the oil in our our engine that's going to connect the dots to the people that we need. Have a wonderful Memorial Day.